GPM Bull and Spa. Today we're going to be doing quesadillas on the big green egg. The owner doesn't know we do this. He thinks we're actually selling stuff. But we like cooking and eating the food. So we'll see you later. Hi, I'm Ray from GPM and today we're going to be cooking quesadillas on the big green egg. Um, we're going to be using two different things that we don't normally use on our cooks. One, we're going to be using the plate setter when it gets down to that quesadilla part. And two, we're using the cast iron grill in the egg. Uh, Keith, our assistant over here, just started the egg for us and it's getting up to the temperature. And what we're going to do is we're going to sear the steaks in just a couple of minutes. And then we're going to saute the mushrooms and then we're going to put everything together and bring it back onto the grill, onto the plate setter. So we're going to go to the kitchen now and prepare the food and we'll see you in a minute. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to prepare the meat and the mushrooms while the grill is getting up to temperature. And as you can see, the ingredients on this cook is really not that much. Um, we have a sirloin steak, and I'm sure you can use any steak you want. Uh, we have portobello mushrooms, again, any mushrooms. I just like this kind of combination. Uh, my seasoning for the steak is just going to be a garlic salt. My seasoning for the mushrooms is going to be Paul Newman's Italian dressing. And then we're going to use a four cheese um, Mexican mix and some uh, tortillas. These are corn tortillas and we'll put it all together. So all I'm going to do right now is just take the mushrooms, put them in my pans, get back here, there's no escaping the egg, and you can do this, you know, some time ahead. I mean, to me, it's, you really don't have to do it that far ahead, half an hour, an hour, a little generous portions here. You can also use a little balsamic vinegar, that has a nice flavor. But um, I forgot it, sorry. So I'm gonna garlic salt this. Garlic salt is my favorite spice for steak. Um, and then probably butt rub's my second. So we just get both sides, a nice generous portion. And now we're gonna take this back out of the egg and we're gonna grill the steak and saute the mushrooms and then we'll be ready to put our quesadillas together. So we'll see you outside. Okay, so we've prepared the mushrooms and we put them in a pan and I've already placed them on the grill so they have some little start time in there. And I've covered them with foil as you'll see when we open up the grill so that the Italian dressing will steam all the way around them. And now I'm gonna take the steak and I'm gonna throw this on the grill. Another piece here. Now we're going to time that for a couple of minutes and then we're going to come back out and we're going to flip it. Notice we're cooking with the daisy wheel off because we want this temperature to be as hot as possible so we can sear in those juices. What we're going to do is we're going to cook them for probably on that thickness, probably about three minutes aside, and then what we're going to do is we're going to let them rest for 10 minutes and then we're going to put them back on at a temperature of about 350, 400 degrees. So we'll see you in a couple of minutes. Okay, it's been a couple minutes and now we're going to come out here and we're going to flip these steaks and see how they look. Oh yeah, look at that. Okay, see you in a minute. Okay, the steaks have been cooking for a while. And now, as you can see, they look beautiful. Nice and juicy. We like to see that dripping juice whenever we cook on the egg. Okay, now that we have the mushrooms in there, we're going to turn down the temperature. We're going to go back to using our daisy. Matter of fact, let me put those a little more towards the heat. I'm going to even close it down so I can cool down the temperature for a while so I don't dry them out. Okay, we're going to take this inside and let it set for a little while. Then we're going to cut it open. And if it needs to be cooked anymore, we're going to throw it back on the grill. But these really look like they cooked all the way through. Usually we let them rest for 10 minutes and throw them back on. I don't think we're going to need to do it with these. So we're going to take these inside and we'll see in a little bit. Okay, we took the steaks off and when I cut into them, they were perfect. They didn't need to go back on. So I sliced those up and they're ready for the quesadillas. But now I want to take the mushrooms off, which I'm sure are going to be fine. But we'll take a little look at this. They are hot. Oh yeah, those look perfect. So now what we're going to do is we're going to put on the plate setter. And we don't have to take the grill off of this. We can just place this right on top of the grill. 
And then we're gonna shut it and let it heat up. And then we'll come back out. We're gonna put our quesadillas together. We're gonna lay them on the grill, flip them once, and eat them twice. Only kidding, just eat once. Okay, as you've seen, we've already prepared three of them. And now I'm gonna just show you in case somebody doesn't realize how to prepare a quesadilla. Um, and one of the things you can do with the meat is you can either leave it sliced long or cut it up into little pieces so when you bite it, sometimes with the long pieces, even though the meat is very tender, you'll, you'll drag a piece of meat out of your quesadilla. So sometimes we do them in bite-sized pieces. So the first thing I like to do is I like to take uh, some cheese. And again, we're using a four cheese mix. You can really use anything you want. Uh, obviously the bee wants to eat some of this too. Uh, we're going to try to do this put enough on there so that when it melts it becomes the cement of the sandwich and then we're going to just lay some pieces bite-sized pieces on this one all around these are good quesadillas boy I tell you the meat with that garlic salt and the portobello mushrooms just unbelievable and then we're gonna put some of the portobello mushrooms which I almost forgot it's funny a lot of people don't like mushrooms and uh, and I found that because they probably grew up on canned mushrooms and they don't know what real mushrooms are but when you get mushrooms and you saute them in butter or Italian dressing and garlic and white wine and I mean all the people I've turned on to mushrooms and not the magic ones uh, they just you know they become mushroom addicts after that Okay. Now we're going to take the top, we're going to close these up, we're going to open our grill, take our spatula, place them on. Now this is a large egg and a large place setter in here and we can get about four of these on the smaller size in there. If you went to an extra large you could probably do, I don't know, maybe 10 of them. Because that's a 24 inch cooking surface as opposed to the 18 inch. And then when you really take the size of the plate setter, it goes down to 13 inch on the large and 21 inch on the extra large. So, so now we're going to shut these down. We're going to let them cook. We're going to flip them in a couple of minutes and then we're going to take them off and we're going to eat them. So we'll see you in a minute. Okay, it's been a couple of minutes, probably like two or three. These should be ready to flip. Let's see if I can flip them. The cheese should hold them together. Okay, that's good. Mm, can't wait to eat those. Shut it down and put the other side. It's hot on both sides. They look good. Look at that. In there. Okay. We're going to close down our egg. Take off the daisy wheel, put on the cap, shut the bottom vent, and this will ensure that we have more charcoal for the next cook, because a lot of times we just stir it up and relight it. It's the beauty about the big green egg. I'm going to just let these cool down a bit before I taste one of them, because I burnt my mouth on these videos before. Yeah. So I'm Barry, and I'm Ray, and this video has been presented by GPM Pool and Spot. See you next time, folks. Good case of these, right? Thanks, Barry. Excellent. I appreciate it. Come here. That's a compliment. <laughs>